going to show you as much as I can the pathology section, which can be difficult on a dummy patient. But if you click on investigations, you'll see these are all of the investigations patients had. So whether that's ones that we've entered on, such as blood pressures or any hospital blood results would appear on here. So, for example, somebody has manually entered that on. Um, you can see any results here. And over here, you'll see the trend. So this gentleman has only ever had that one test done. So there's no other details here. If there were, you would see them all in a row. You can also click on this, which is view reports, which sometimes I do find helpful because it would put down all of the different hospital um, received ICE reports here for that patient done um, by us. And you might want to see the original formats of the bloods when they come in to look at like reference ranges and things a bit easier. Um, so you could see them all there. If you want to request investigations, you would do it. Just click it in a point. You would click on um, depending on what you want. So this gentleman say I don't know. Say we want to do um, a blood test. We'd click on test request, and it's an online one. We're doing a normal Worcestershire blood test. And then this is everything that this we can ask for these patients. So it comes up under routine first. So you can have all the bog standard things here. You could look at some of these. The one I use on this one's really helpful, the medical liver screen. Because um, finding all of those is, a, is quite challenging. You order x-rays. And if you need more, you could click on upper limb, for example. 20 million things there. Ultrasounds would be there. Um, in our area, you can only um, x-ray um, for musculoskeletal conditions. We cannot do any ultrasounds, MRIs or CT scans. It all has to be done through the orthopaedic pathway. So you'll see these all say excluded. If you want a CT scan, an MRI scan, again, you can see what we can't issue. Um, basically, these are things we can do. Any so bariums that you need to do, any nuclear medicines, um, and say you don't, you can't find it, so vitamin D, for example, you always have to search for. It's not on the first page. You just search for vitamin and click the button. And then you click OK. And then, nope, it's not on supplements. When you've ticked in all of the different things that you want to tick for that patient, you would say continue with request. And then this box is really important. This is what you're going to get when you get your blood test or scan result back. So you need to give enough information for the radiographer so they know why they're doing it. And then for a blood test, you'd need to say, for example, he's had knee pain, I don't know, um, waking him at night. So when you get that result back, you can see why you've done that blood test. If you were literally going to do that sample now, you would click that button. But as a GP, I very rarely take the bloods there and then. I'm doing this so my, uh, my um, nursing colleagues can take the blood. So you would click this button. Sample to be taken later. You'd click accept request. Oh, sorry, there you go. It's telling me I haven't put anything in here. Should I? So, whatever we're going to put in there. Um, accept request. And then when it's been accepted, you get a pop up saying OK. There we go. You click OK and it's on the diary. So then when the nurses come to take the sample, they know what they're doing and they access it through ICE. If it was an x-ray, chest, um, chest x-ray, whatever, they would all appear in, this, in the same method there. Um, and it's nice and clear. Everyone knows exactly what you're doing. If you want to log on to the hospital system and say, say this gentleman went to A&E and they had bloods in A&E and, a and you, want to literally, you want to look at those results, you would click on investigations and then this report list here. Um, it will bring up his ICE, which because it's not live, I can't do. It's going to have to just cheat and do it through this way. And I should be able to show you. So if you clicked on that other button in a live page, and that's the one you would click, then you could see here, um, say this was you know, A&E, you would click on patient report list. And any actual blood results for that patient would be here. So say they'd had a scan or bloods or whatever done at the hospital by somebody else, you could look at the results here. So it's really handy. Um, for example, I know you, you send a patient in, you want to see what's happening uh, with them, and you could find it on there. And that is an overview of investigations.